Hola guys, so we'd be installing this cryo sheet from Thermal Grizzly. And before I proceed, time lapse and time bar below, its description will be in the description field. And in this video, I'd be ranting about two things. Its installation and some difficulties you may have, uh, depending on the component you'd be using this on, whether it's a CPU or a GPU. And second one is comparing this thing with the thermal paste. And the thermal paste I use is from Thermal Rights. Uh, it's from Thermal Right. It's the TF7. And the reason I decided to make this video is because of their Bowers. Uh, one of his videos where he actually used a silicone oil. And I also saw uh, one of the users in, one user posted in Reddit where he used similar technique to, to hold this in place. More on that later on. And some other things may be in between. So be sure to check the description field for the time, la time lapse and feel free to skip ahead okay all right so more about the silicone oil they mentioned silicone oil but in my case i used a uh, silicone lubricant i bought this from the philippines there you go it's out of focus there you go and i bought this from the philippines its link will be in the description field as well and it the reason they use that is because this thing is kind of slippery where once you apply it or put it on to the component or die and when installing the cold plate or block GPU or cooler, CPU cooler, right? Um, there's something that's nagging on you that it may have slipped out of place and using this oil or lubricant may keep it in place, you know? Um, yeah and we'll see if it's if this thing is you know effective or not but to be clear as the bauer stated he would know right um this composes of silicone as well so it shouldn't affect that much as long as you apply a very 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 small amount just enough to keep it in place right and yeah more, again more on that later on Okay guys, quick look on what the package contains. It has the manual and the thermal pad, not much to it. And in their Bowers video, he did say they'd be trying to include a silicone oil into the package as well to make it easier for the installation process, but we'll find out. I don't expect that anytime soon. Uh, maybe in the future, or, you know, uh, batches that they'd be producing probably anyway. Um, I hope uh, Der Bauer would be updating us on that one. And what else? So here's another clip for just to, you know, just to demonstrate how slippery the thermal pad is when putting on top of uh, an IHS. Uh, I wasn't able to test this thing with a GPU or CPU die, but I was able to test it with a Carbonaut. And the Carbonaut thermal pad, for some reason, it sticks better onto a die if you just rub it the right if you just rub it the right way it'll tend to stick but still you'd get that feeling that it may have moved a bit um so for peace of mind use silicone oil uh again in my case i'm using a silicone lubricant and i was skeptic at first because in their bowers video and in the user that posted in reddit they mentioned silicone oil i couldn't i don't have that here in the philippines all i have is this and i was kind of uh, skeptic that it would work this one in particular but i was able to test it uh it, it's good uh then even uh I, I, oh, more on that later on with the comparison right but going back to how slippery it is so let's just say this is the IHS or die whatever component right and this is the graph <laughs> thermal pad and if you just put it on top there it tends to you know uh, move around quite easily and if you put it you know if this is the if this is the cooler obviously uh, once installing it it may move out of place and you know not main, making good contact and now I'd be providing you how to use this thing funny guys um, the video as it turned out wasn't recording I was standing there I thought I uh, hit record yesterday 
and turns out it wasn't recording uh the only thing recording was my phone facing the computer right so anyway um there are a few ways on how to go with this um you could attach the pad on top of the die or ihs and uh, what i did is i put i put oil on top of my finger and you know and for example this is the die for example this is the this is the ihs right it's on top of the motherboard right it's slotted there and what i do what i did was put I have oil on my finger and I put on four corners there. I just uh, rub them along the corners or and put the pad on top of it. Easy as that. But what I actually did to make my life a bit more difficult is I put oil. Not that little. Just a tad more. There you go just about that much just enough you know there you go there you go just like that and I just put a you know smudge it there along the corners there I placed it on uh, I applied it onto my CPU cooler and place the pad there and It fell. <laughs> Thermal pads are more stickier. Uh, I, I did that demonstration. <laughs> I did that demonstration uh, yesterday uh, using the thermal pad and it didn't lose its step. So, but to be fair, paper's more slippery than the pad. Uh, do be careful though, guys, because that pad is really fragile. So, yeah, I wouldn't shake it too much in the paper's case, right? But with the, yeah, so it's stuck in place and don't worry about the smudges. Uh, it'll pump right out as soon as, you know, uh, apply it on top of your CPU and shouldn't be a problem. I didn't experience any problems uh, in my installation and yeah i hope that you guys find this useful i'm really sorry i wasn't able to show you the graphene the thermal pad uh here's a video of me applying installing the cooler uh, i'm using a cooler Ma arctic freezer something duo something like that um it'll be in the description later on so yeah and uh I'm just closing the computer here real quick. All right, as for the performance benchmark, uh, I just use Cinebench R23 guys for simplicity. Uh, we're just after the temperatures anyway. Seven thermal rights, uh, thermal paste. The minimum I got was 40 degrees Celsius and maximum 72 and averages at 70.22. For the cryo sheet, I'm getting better numbers. Uh, 38 degrees for the minimum, 71 degrees for the maximum, 68.19 uh, for the average. As for the PC on idle, uh, still better numbers for the cryo sheet. I have 30 degrees. 33 degrees minimum for the TF7, 43 max, uh, 34.76 uh, average. Cryo sheet has a 33.14 average. So, yeah, um, a bit better in regards to cryo sheet, but overall they they're very similar. So to conclude, guys, um, yeah, I, I let's just say this is the pad. Okay, I keep holding it. I would really uh, recommend this thing, uh, but. For certain types of people only right because this thing here the pad um you know its mission in life is you install it you forget about it right and there are 
few components you could use it on, you know, common use case, which would be your graphics card and the CPU. Let's start with the graphics card. Uh, some people might uh, think that, you know, uh, once you install this thing, that would be the, the end of it. But do keep in mind that the thermal pads for the memories, for the VRAMs, right? And VRMs for the graphics card, the thermal pads for those would require replacement every so often as well. Maybe four or five years, you'd have to replace them. And if you're expecting to reuse this pad, it may be possible but your mileage may vary. I was able to try, um, you know, with my other CPU. I installed this cryo sheet onto a Ryzen 7800X 3D. I've tried it a bunch of times, not really, maybe three or four with my other computer. Uh, I tried removing it, reinstalling the cooler, removing it, replace it with, with another cooler. Uh, the performance stays the same so that's good but all i'm saying this pad here is really fragile so your your mileage may vary right so yeah but i just want to highlight that this thing here the the thermal pad cryo sheet is really fragile so again your mileage may vary guys but the main reason i'd recommend this for for those of you who, who are planning to use this with your graphics card is the thermal pads for water blocks uh, it's really difficult sometimes to get the perfect match or size of the thickness of the thermal pad right but since these cryo sheets or even carbonaut i'm using carbonaut in my video card are thicker than a, than a paste it makes better contact between GPU and the water block. So that's it. Otherwise, guys, um, yeah, if you're not really, you know, um, opening your card up, maybe it's your first time after a few years and you're, you're, you're going to be replacing your video cards, thermal pads for your VRAMs and whatever. Uh, maybe you could use this one, but don't expect that uh, when the time comes where when you'd have to replace the thermal pads for your VRAMs um, that you'd be able to reuse the pad. Again, guys, it's very fragile. You may be able to reuse it or maybe not. Again, your mileage may vary. But in regards to CPU, all I can say is the, the objective of this one is install and forget, right? And AIO has a lot of breakdown points. So... Using this one with an air cooler would be better, in my opinion. Um, but otherwise, hey, um, if, if you're using an AIO, why not, right? It, it's a lot easier. Again, you just put oil along the silicone oil along the edges of the block and put a pad in place. Really easy to s install, um, unlike thermal paste. To be fair, it's really easy as well. <laughs> but again, the longevity of this one is superb, guys. And in regards to the silicone oil lubricant I'm using, again, this where I bought this from, I bought this from the Philippines, by the way. Its link will be in the description field. So yeah, really effective. I'm not seeing any because in Der Bauer's video, what he did was he applied a drop of oil right in the middle of the cpu and or was it a gpu anyway again his video will be in the link in the description field below go watch it it's a really nice watch and uh what he's basically aiming for is the pump out effect where once you apply the block on top of the die or ihs it'll the 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 silicone will be pumped out so in, in at first he was expecting a bit of degradation in performance, but as time progressed uh, where, and the silicone is eventually out, out, you know, pushed out, um, he's expecting better performance. But in my case, I'm getting good performance right out the bat uh, as long as, uh, well, in my case, I applied it right at the edges. So no problem there. 
So that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you watched or found this video helpful. And in any case, I'll see you in the next one.